What's going on YouTube? Keeper right here presenting the movement towards improvement over here at Woods Valley, the usual back of the range, by myself, the usual, I'm like a loner, a hermit, someone likes to stick to themselves, an introvert, extrovert, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Hey you guys, I just wanted to talk about this video on what's gonna help you achieve your New Year's resolutions. Damn you plane! We'll just let it go. We'll just let it go by, people. Life is all about adversity, people. Man, I'm still not good at that. <laughs> So you guys, I just wanted to talk about what's gonna help you achieve your New Year's resolutions. Um, something that's helped me, something I'm going through right now, that's obviously why I wanted to share it. it. Has to do with two words, commitment and uncomfortability. You have to be willing to be committed to being uncomfortable. Right now, you know, I just came back from Hawaii and I'm going through a lot of swing changes. I haven't changed my swing in years. And what Kelvin showed me is there's just certain things I need to do in my swing to hit the ball better. It's just, they're just facts that all the best ball strikers do. This is nothing for debate that I need to put these in these key points into my swing if I want to get better. So I'm out here, you know, I'm working on my swing, I'm doing my drills, and it's uncomfortable, you guys. I'm I'm not hitting the ball as good, you know, doing these drills, just working on getting my body into better positions, not worrying about where the club's at, because if I worry about where the club's at and hitting the ball, then I look at my swing on camera and there isn't much that has changed. So it's about being committed to being uncomfortable like that, thin, thin, low shanky doodle, you know? And that's what's gonna come down to this next year. It's not gonna be easy, you know? Another New Year's resolution that always comes to mind is health or fitness or, um, you know, you wanna lose some weight or whatever it may be. That stuff's uncomfortable. You could be, it's January 9th or whatever the date is, you could have been going to the gym nine days by now and it's uncomfortable, it's painful, you're tired after work, you got a headache, you're putting in this 45 minutes, hour worth of working out, and then you step on the scale, and you don't see anything has changed. You weigh the same. And it can be demoralizing, it can be depressing, and that's where you have to, what I always say, trust the process. It's a lot easier to say it than it is to actually walk it and go through it. You know what I'm saying? So right now, I'm out here, I'm hitting tops, I'm hitting shanks, I'm hitting chunk shots, I'm hitting sides and hooks, because I'm just working on getting my body in a better position. And for this new year, you guys, uh, one of the quotes I heard was, successful people do what they have to whether they want to or not a lot of times i don't want to have to edit videos or come out here and beat balls or hit a whole bunch of crappy shots but i know that this is what's going to help me get to where i want to go like the more you want to achieve in life the more you're going to be tested right if you want to achieve this much or become this good of a golfer or make this much money then you only have to do this much but if you want to achieve this much, if you want to be able to shoot under par, if you want to be able to play well in tournaments, you have to do this much. If you want to become one of the best in your league at something, then you're going to be tested with a whole bunch of shit, a whole bunch of adversity. It's going to test you. You're going to have to work harder than everybody. You're going to have to go days where you forget to eat, where you forget to sleep. That's just the way it is. Last year, when I first started selling these MTI polos, I was on Facebook for 12 to 15 hours straight, um, from three in the morning to three in the afternoon the next day, just messaging people. And because of that, I thought if we did well, we would sell 75 polos. And we ended up selling 275. But that's because I was so committed to doing what I had to, whether I didn't sleep or whether I didn't eat, we sold 275 in three days. So I exceeded my expectations. This is I was just focused on doing the work. That's all it is. I'm out here, when you're in the moment, I'm hitting these bad shots, it's, it's depressing. I go back, I look on the camera, my swing isn't much different. I'm like, holy crap, man, I'm trying everything I do, I can do the drills, and just not looking different. But I come out here every day, no matter what, hit one large, hit two larges. I'm doing you know, all the exercises Kelvin's having me do to, to get in the right places. I'm hoping, you know, after six, nine, ten months, it's gonna pay off. But too many times in our culture, whether it's P90X or Insanity, people, every, everybody thinks they get jacked in 30 days, 60 days, or you can make more money in, in three months, or you could cut your handicap in half. I mean, this is just not the way it works. Uh, everything in this life requires uh, work ethic and discipline, and, and if it were easy, everyone would do it. That's what I always keep telling myself. If it were easy to shoot under par every round, whether it's at your home course, of course you haven't played a PGA Tour course, everybody would do it. If it's easy to make this much money or to be able to travel around the world and play the golf courses I want to, everyone would do it. So it tests you and it weeds out the people that aren't committed to being uncomfortable, you guys. I remember also in Arizona, you know, I went a whole month, um, you know, eating one meal a day. You know, and I'm not saying that to impress you guys or be like, oh, look at Gabe, he works hard. I just 
you get older and you gotta pay bills and you're forced to do things now. Back in high school, if I didn't wanna do something, I didn't do it. But nowadays, when you gotta pay for your rent and your phone and your car, et cetera, and food, you're forced to do things that you don't want to because you know it'll get you to where you want to go. So you guys, this is just a rant today. Just saying, hey, New Year's resolutions, you guys, it's gonna, it's not gonna be easy all the time. It's not supposed to be. When it's not, you go, hey, look, it's supposed to be hard. And you have to be committed to putting yourself through uncomfortable situations. I'm out here, it sucks. I'm working on swing changes, but I will do it every day for the year and see where it takes me. I'm like, this is a, a fun experimentation for me. I'm curious to see where this goes. But a lot of times, you guys, you're not gonna see the results right away. Don't judge yourself on the results. Judge yourself on doing the process, doing what you have to do every single day. It can be monotonous. Success is monotonous. It's tedious. It's slow. It's the same crap every single day. Every day I gotta go out here. Today, I got, I'm the one who puts my GoPro up. I'm the one who puts my swing camera up. I'm the one who puts my Canon camera up. I'm the one who checks my mics. I'm the one who records myself, who edits myself, who answering Facebook messages, Instagram messages, emails, YouTube comments. Um, I'm the one who sets up the membership sites, recording the training and exercises videos that me and Kelvin did, the thank you pages, the lead pages, the, the guy who makes the, you know, the logos for my pages, the graphics. I do all that stuff, all by myself, every day. So you guys, if you want to achieve something, at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to you whether you want to do it or not. And you doing it when you don't want to, doing it when it's hard, doing it when you don't know what to do, and be committed to learning and applying. So, you guys, I really hope I want everybody to achieve their goals this year. I mean, that's just what it's about, but it, it'll, it'll push you to expand and grow yourself and go outside your comfortability. I'm the one calling up the companies. I'm the one selling the merchandise. I'm the one who packaging it up, selling it, trying to get... Uh, better merchandise overseas, getting new equipment, getting new cameras, getting new mics. You guys, at the end of the day, it's up to you, plain and simple. Uh, and you got to pay your dues. That's just the way it is. If you want to become something, if you want to get better in your own life, don't expect it to be easy, but expect it. Expect yourself to just put in the time and see what happens. I will say right now, though, if you do the work, if you spend this next year let's just say overcoming your one biggest fear, it'll be the biggest reward of your life because you can't live life to your fullest until you've overcome your big fear or what you're afraid of or what you're scared of, you know. I mean, whatever it is, you have to focus on this year and overcoming that. Let it itch away at you until you do it because if not, you're gonna live life knowing you could have done more, knowing what if, blah, blah, blah. So you guys, this is a rant. Didn't know what type of video to make, but I figured this is something I'm going with because I'm uncomfortable. These swing changes suck. It's, it's a slow process, but I got to come out here and do it every day just because I know this is what's going to take. Okay, let me see if I could get this sucker right here. Oh, got it. Low shank, but it's okay. So you guys, I'm out of here. Hopefully this video just wanted to give you a heads up that sometimes this year things aren't going to be easy, but you got to be committed no matter whether you want to or not. If I can help you guys at all, but do my best to explain all the stuff I'm going through, swing changes. I want to go work with a lot more instructors this year, bring that content to you guys. So this is Gabriel Ryder saying hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Just check all the links down below. I want to help you guys this year. Time to jam, right? This year, hey, every single day, let's get it. So what Kelvin shared with me, what the best players in the world do, whether it's a Fowler, a Spieth, a Westwood, a Horschel, even Sidlowski does this, is that their left arm is actually